Hey everybody, this video is going to be a quick and easy review of the positive predictive value or the PPV, very high yield for boards in your biostats class. Uh, what this examines is it looks at the test results that were positive. So like let's say you had a screen test for HIV and it looks at all the people that came back positive and it says what proportion of those positive results were actually positive or true positives and how many of them were false positives. So basically it tells you, what a PPV tells you is how good is a, a positive result on a test at being truly positive. It looks at what, what the true positive rate is. So if you're a little confused, don't worry, we're going to go over this really quickly here. Now with a test, any test, you're going to have a positive result and a negative result, right? So whether you know the pregnancy urine dipstick shows you're pregnant or not pregnant, those are your two possible outcomes. And the disease or the outcome is do you really... Uh, have HIV or are you really pregnant or are you not pregnant or are you not really have HIV? Now if the test is positive and you do have the disease we call it a true positive meaning you have the disease and the test accurately identified it. Let's say the test says that you're positive or the dipstick says you're pregnant but hey you're not actually pregnant you don't actually have it we call that a false positive. Uh, now if the test is negative it says hey you do not have HIV but you actually in reality do so the test was incorrect we call that a, <clears throat> excuse me, false negative. And uh, the last thing here is going to be a true negative. And that means that if the test was negative and you don't have the disease, that's a true negative. So review that because this is very important for things like specificity, sensitivity. We're kind of glazing over it because we have other videos about it. However, the parts of this that are going to be important for a PPV or a positive predictive value are going to be this section right here. Look at the positive, the positive results of the test. So really, the disease portion isn't too important here. We're looking at just the test, how many are positive, and we're going to take TP over TP plus FP, and that'll equal the PPV. Uh, <clears throat> the two positives over the total number of positives, another way to look at it. So you want this number, this PPV, this, this ratio here, to be really high, right? So if, if uh, Let's say that you know we did this calculation with numbers and this was 90 over 100. That would be a 90% positive predictive value, which you know really isn't spectacular, but it lets the you know the worried uh, potential moms at home who take the pregnancy test know, you know if you put in the box like this thing's got a 90% PPV, then theoretically a, a worried mom or a curious mom should know like hey if this urine test comes back positive. There's a pretty darn good chance that I'm pregnant. That there's you know 90% chance that the positive is correct. And that's the beauty of the PPV. Thank you very much.